Hello and welcome back to BAPCH Igno your favorite study partner do subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell also please like and share our videos today we start with chapter 4 from BPCC 101 perception types and errors of perception in the last chapter we learned about perception its stages selection organization and interpretation also the theoretical approaches which are top down and bottom up what else did we learn the gestalt principles perceptual constancies and finally the factors influencing perception okay now in this chapter we will focus on perception of depth and distance let's check out perception of depth and distance all right perception of depth and distance is like our brain's way of figuring out how far away things are and how close or far apart they seem Imagine you're looking at the picture and there are objects in it like the one in front of you the person wearing this beautiful carnival mask is in the foreground whereas the building serves as the backdrop your brain helps you understand which things are near and which are far away and in order to do so our brain uses both monocular and binocular cues right monocular cues are ways your brain judges depth and distance using only one eye while binocular cues use both eyes together also binocular cues are weaker compared to binocular cues which are more powerful there are six types of monocular cues number 1 relative size this cue uses our existing knowledge about the relative size of objects while giving us information so when objects are far away they look smaller and when they are close up close they appear larger So if you see these two people and one looks tiny while the other one looks big the bigger one is probably closer and this works this cue works both on 2D and 3D images you all saw the picture earlier and look at this video now right moving on to texture gradient number 2 this cue measures the change in texture or degree of gradient take this field of flowers for instance so things in this case the flowers that are far away seem less detailed and blurry as they get closer they become clearer and more detailed you can probably find a more relatable example in your phone's image gallery pull up the photos and that you clicked and see for yourself all right moving on to aerial perspective interesting when objects are far away they might look fainter and a bit bluish due to the haze in between Haze is nothing but the atmospheric dust particles, fog or water vapor. Imagine distant mountains looking hazy compared to the sharpness of nearby hills. However, this sharpness might change depending on the presence of air or haze. Okay? Moving on to number 4, we have linear perspective. This cue is based on the convergence or meeting of straight lines at a point on the horizon. When you look at a long straight road or a railway track um they appear to narrow or meet at a point in the distance right this helps you understand that if the tracks are wide apart that part of the road is closer to you and if the tracks are close to each other you have a long road ahead of you okay moving on to number 5 interposition or occlusion so if one object partly covers another the one covering is likely closer imagine you are at a parade like this and one person stands in front of another you know that the person in front is closer because they block your view of the person behind all right next we have accommodation this cue involves your eyes adjusting to focus on things at different distances it's like when your eyes adjust to see things that are close or far away The best way I can explain this is through this video. We start by focusing on the plant in front, but if we have to look at something further back, like the tractor, we have to adjust our eyes to the distance. You can pause this video and try this right now. Okay? Look straight at something right in front of you, then try looking at something further away, but don't move your head. Let the eyes focus. you will see that you need a split second to adjust to the new distance okay try that you'll find it interesting moving on to binocular cues using cues from both eyes the first one is stereopsis which is retinal disparity pay attention this is super interesting 
each eye sees the world from a slightly different angle because they are apart an average of 6.3 cm disparity means unequal or inconsistent or disproportionate so yeah each eye sees a different image however your brain combines these two perspectives to create a 3d image and judge information on depth height and width to put it in simple terms the more different uh, the images are from each eye the closer the object is to that particular eye this is the diagram given in the book however for me this image clears things more all right next moving on to convergence our eyes make an angle while focusing on an object known as the convergence angle it is kind of the binocular cue that involves the turning inward of both eyes to focus on a nearby object it's the way your eyes work together when something is close to you so the smaller the convergence angle the further the object and the larger the convergence angle the nearer the object let's do a quick experiment record yourself on your phone keep the front camera at eye level and place your index finger right beside your camera away from your body press the record button on your phone and slowly move your finger from behind to front closer to your nose once your finger touches the bridge of your nose stop recording you will notice that the eyeballs rotate inwards from the sides and this in turn will help i mean it helps your brain to calculate the depth and distance of the objects okay these cues without monocular or binocular help your brain understand the world in 3d allowing you to navigate grab objects and just distances accurately i kind of wanted to cover perception of movement and size in this video as well however that would require some explaining so i decided to make it a separate video i'll upload it tomorrow along with the rest of the chapter right so until then study well exams are approaching soon hope you have completed your assignments and don't forget to check out our telegram channel for easy to understand notes all right then you have a great weekend take care